Back in 2015, I saw this guy on LinkedIn advertising his books. As an author, I said to myself, I'm going to support this guy. So I bought his book and after that, I gave him a review. He was so impressed by my review or I guess my choice of words that he introduced me to somebody else. He told them that my words were like music to the ears. That was such a good compliment for me. And this person he introduced me to took me on and couldn't stop bragging about my work. So he had me, um, what's the word, to manage 33 different authors. And he had this project that he was going to do to write a book and make a movie. So during that process, I thought, my goodness, this is wonderful because I was in a very, very bad position you know, in my personal life and I needed something to get me out of the rut I was in. So I thought, this is it. I'm going to be a millionaire because I was working with millionaires. Everybody in that row of 33 authors was making well over six figures at that time. So we had um, people come into the project. The guy who owns Groupon, his sister was talking with us. We had talks you know, about getting James Redfield to actually uh, write the forward for the book. I had made it. Nobody could tell me any different. So I was so excited. I had to write also two chapters for that book and also write a story that would link all this 33 different chapters from all these 33 authors together. So it was such a huge task for me, which I really liked because it was creative. So anyway, long story short, James Redfield was contacted and he invited us over to where he lived. Can you imagine that? So we got to meet James Redfield. I sat next to him on the table and we had our own private conversations about being Pisces and whatnot. He told me about how he came up with his book, The Celestine Prophecy. And I also told him how I've always wanted to meet him and how... I hope my goal was to write a book that had such an impact, like his book, The Celestine Prophecy. So it was such a, a, a full circle moment for me because now that project did not work out, okay? But guess what happened? I got to meet James Redfield. Meeting James Redfield was one of the things I had to check off from my bucket list. And I also got to write my book, On Becoming You, which is a phenomenal, if I should say so, book. And it just goes to show you that nothing is ever wasted. Nothing. The moral of this story is that nothing is ever wasted. No opportunity ever goes in vain. If we look through the rubble, we will find something. And that's not to say that that situation um, is the only kind that would have happened for us to find that revelation. No, we could find the revelation without going through all the different issues or problems or hiccups. We could, but when life gives you that kind of situation, what's the only thing you can do? Find and pick through to find something that can actually make you realize that it wasn't in vain. This is the meaning of life. We give life its meaning. People ask, what's the purpose of life? You know, we have all these different concepts. All of them are wonderful. But I truly believe that the purpose of life is we give meaning to it. We are the alchemists. We are the magicians. We are the ones who look through, you know, with our little lenses to find the precious, to find the 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 extraordinary in the ordinary to make the mundane beautiful to elevate people's spirit by telling stories like this we all have those stories all of us and if we go back and look at those stories even the ones that were the most painful you will see something that there is always a little spark in those moments we couldn't see them at that point because everything looked like it was pitch black. But there's always a spark. Always. And it's that spark that gets us to the next and then to the next and then to the next, you know, goal or path in our journey. So, yeah, that was a big moment for me. I have 
always just bragged about meeting James Redfield. But I also came to understand that um, I was no less than the people that I was working with. They may have had, <clears throat> excuse me, they may have had the money, but I have this. And I always call my brain the billionaire brain because I am the, I, 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 my brain is the manufacturer of ideas. Really, I could come up with the craziest, loftiest ideas, and I so I don't look at myself any lower. If anything, they looked at me in awe, which was such a validating thing to what I already knew about myself. So don't put yourself down. Always realize that there is always again, even in the pain. My book, Unbecoming You, is also available on Amazon everywhere. And if you go to the link in my bio or the link in my cover, you would find my link tree um, link there. And um, I look forward to getting to know you. I hope you give me the chance to be able to share more because I have so many stories, some juicy, some exciting, some a little maybe gloomy, but they're always, always elevating, uplifting, and inspiring and motivating. Thank you. My name is Bernice. I am an author. I am a award-winning poet. I am a mystic. I'm a mother. I am a lover, a wife. I am a goddess of love and uh, all the names that people give me. I accept it. All the beautiful ones though. So stay tuned. For more stories and talks like this, subscribe to my channel and click the notification button so that whenever I post something, you get to be notified. Also, follow me on TikTok at I am underscore magic nine.